have no idea why anyone would do this to me. Who would do it? It's a big shock to myself and my neighbors. Here's what's happening now at 11 o'clock. Drivers are being warned after two incidents where razor blades turn up attached to cars. And tonight, the victims are speaking out. NBC4's Hetty Chang live right now in Temecula with more on this dangerous discovery. Hetty? Chuck and Colleen, dangerous and certainly very concerning. Both of the victims we spoke with tonight could have been pretty seriously hurt, including a 12-year-old girl. Kristen Dalton tells us it's the kind of thing you read about, urban myths that turn out to be fake. My hand kind of lingered there for a second, and then I pulled back, and I looked, and I thought it was a business card. But glued underneath her car door handle, the Temecula mom noticed these four large razor blades that nearly cut right into her fingers. Two with the points facing up and two at the points facing down. My mind just started going, who would do anything like this? When did this happen? Thursday morning, Riverside deputies responding to Dalton's home on Carlton Way would ask those same questions and whether this was a random act or targeted. I was curious to see if it happened to anyone else. The very next day, about five miles away on Daniel Way, this family discovered a razor tucked into the license plate frame of their van. They Split it right into that slot right there. The blade, they say, looked like it was from a box cutter. And, it uh, cut right into their 12 year old daughter's jeans as she ran past the car. If I had just been running a little bit closer to the car, I could have been cut and who knows, maybe there was some bad stuff on the knife. Detectives say they don't believe the two incidents are connected, but that doesn't make the discoveries less frightening. It more saddens me than scares me that there's someone that wants to cause someone bodily harm and for no apparent reason. Riverside County detectives are asking anyone with information to give them a call. Meantime, they are warning drivers to check those car door handles, especially in this area. We're live in Temecula tonight. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.